hey everyone welcome back to your about tutorials in the last video i told you how to use link and inside the link how we can use joins so today i'm going to tell you how we can use if block inside the link so i have this data in sheet one two columns i have so you can see smith justin nancy sam are the names and opposite to those there are few alphabets a b f f so what i want from bot is if it's find a it rename as approved if it's p then pending and then if f then failed so the output will be look like this approved approved pending failed failed so this can be done through the link in the single line query let me remove this data go back to ui path tutorials i'm sorry <laughs> go back to ui path now use the read range activity inside the excel application scope i'm reading sheet one this is sheet one and putting all the data into the data table name as dt sheet one just drag drop build data table here click on the data table you can create the column by clicking on the plus button give the column name select the data type and click on the ok i have created the two columns here already so i am not uh, there is no need to create it again now the output of this build data table i'm storing it in dt sheet 2 use assign activity on the left side i've used dt sheet 2 the output of build data table on the right side the link you query so you can see it's a single line query yes reading all the dt sheet 1 storing the alias selecting dt sheet 2 and load data row so all the data we are loading into the dt sheet 2 create new object then a dot field of object then the column name first so you can write string also but the, if you write the object it will going to it will not going to throw error if it's if it's a string integer whatever it is it will going to handle it so it's better if you can write the object the type of so the column is a type of object here for the p code i read it's a type of string so I have, you can see there is if condition where if p code equals to a it will rename as approved and if p code equals to p it will rename as pending same similarly way similar way then if it's p code then f then it rename as failed and at the end you can copy the data table result into data table to the left side so you can have all the written dt sheet 2 and just write just write range activity you have to use inside the excel application scope pass dt sheet 2 give the address a1 and just check add headers so if i'm going to run this you can see that sheet is blank now i am running it so you can see like so bot is replaced a with approved p with pending f with failed so in this way you can use the link q and in the link you can use the if commands so in instead of doing the iterations instead of using if else if else blocks so you can just write down the single line code in the link if if you want to if you didn't understand anything please comment on my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for more videos for more videos you have to wait